Hello humans, today I'm going to be showing you another terrible game played between Magnus Carlsen and an alleged cheater. In the end of the game I will determine if he was a cheater or not. This is a blitz game, so I will take it easy on this humans. Magnus has the white pieces and the game starts with Knight to f3, f5, the Dutch defense. Best move now would be c4, preventing d5. But Magnus chooses a more tricky line and plays, d3, and black plays, knight to f6, followed by, e4, gambiting a pawn, black plays f takes e4, he accepts the gambit, followed by, d takes e4, knight takes e4, bishop to d3, attacking the knight, and black has to be really careful in this position, if black plays the second best move, knight back to f6, this is already close to losing because white would play, knight to g5, black can't play a3, because, bishop to g6 is checkmate, so the best move for black now would be g6. Followed by h4, d5, h5, and black's position is collapsing. So, black played the only move which is, d5, very suspicious. White plays, bishop takes e4, d takes e4, queen takes d8 check, and black now thinks for a few seconds maybe to make sure if king to f7 was better, but black decides to play, king takes d8, followed by, knight to g5, threatening a fork on the king and the rook. Black prevents it and plays, king to e8, white plays, knight to c3, with a double attack on the pawn, followed by, bishop to f5, bishop to f4, attacking the c7 pawn, and black ignores this and plays, knight to c6, best move again. Can white take the c7 pawn? Yes. But this would give black a slight advantage, I will show you one obvious line, for me. If bishop takes c7, we would have rook to c8, attacking the bishop, white would play bishop to g3, knight to b4, attacking the c2 pawn, rook to c1, defending the pawn, and after h6, white can't play knight from g takes c4 because after, bishop takes c4 and knight takes c4, there is knight to d3 check, winning the exchange. Back to the game, after knight to c6, White castles long, good move, for a human. Black plays e5, bishop back to e3, bishop to e7, knight from g takes c4, rook to d8, f3, knight to d4, rook from h to e1, trying to win the weak e5 pawn later on, and black responds with king to f7, best move. Again. Very interesting. King the f7, is a prophylactic move, if instead black played a random move such as, a6, white would play, bishop to g5, and black can't play bishop takes g5 check, because after knight takes g5, best would be, king to e7, rook takes e5, attacking the bishop, attacking the knight, and black is completely lost. Now, if white plays bishop to g5, black can now play, bishop takes g5 check, because after knight takes g5 check, black has king to g6, attacking the knight, so white can't take the e5 pawn, very obvious. Back to the game, black plays, rook to d2, followed by, h6, knight to f2, bishop to b4, and this is an awful move because white played knight to d3, and black can't play bishop takes c3, because we would have, knight takes c5 check, king to e6, b takes c3, knight takes c2, rook takes c2, bishop takes c2, king takes c2, king takes e5, bishop to g5 check, king to f5, bishop takes d8, rook takes d8, and after rook to e7, white is much better, so, after knight to d3, black played, bishop takes d3, followed by rook takes d3, knight to c6, rook from e to d1, rook takes d3, rook takes d3, bishop takes c3, rook takes c3, a5, rook to b3, attacking the pawn, and if you want to defend the pawn by playing, 
B6, congratulations, we are completely lost, after B6, just rook to C3, attacking the knight, knight to E7, rook takes C7 check, rook to B8, defending the pawn, and after C4, black's position is completely paralyzed, and white is winning. So black defended the pawn with, rook to B8, followed by A4, king to E6, king to D2, G5, king to E2, avoiding a rook check, black now plays B6, rook to C3, king to D5, B3, rook to E8, best move, again. So white plays rook to C4, followed by knight to D4 check, and white can't take the knight on E4, because now E takes D4 comes with check, and after king to D2 and C5, the white's rook is trapped. Because of that white played, king to d3, c5, c3, the b3 pawn is hanging, but that's just an illusion. Because after knight takes b3, white has h4, rook to g8 and, rook to g4 pinning the pawn to the rook, and white would create a passed pawn. But of course the 2000 rated player saw all of this, and that's why he played, knight to f5, attacking the bishop followed by bishop to f2, knight to d6, attacking the rook, rook goes to g4, king to e6, h4, rook to d8, threatening a discovery attack, and after king to e2, white won on time. But I will show you how the game could have continued, black should play, rook c8, followed by, h takes g5, h takes g5, rook takes g5, c4, b takes c4, rook takes c4, bishop takes b6 and after rook takes a4, white is slightly better, so, was that a cheater? Well, this could be a smurf account of a weak engine like, Leela Chess, or Alpha Zero, but not even them, would ever lose on time against a human. This player played a lot of my top 4 moves, and sometimes he would just play a bad move, to disguise what he was doing, so clearly, he was cheating. I can confirm that. If you like this video or the others videos I make on this channel, consider checkmate the like button and subscribe. If you have any suggestion, just put it in the comments and I will do it. Or not. See you later.